Robotic process automation is in demand and is highly growing field. Robotic process automation is the use of software with artificial intelligence and machine learning capabilities to handle high volume repeated tasks that were previously required humans to perform. Python is an interpreted high level general purpose programming language. RPA when interfaced with Python helps users to transform tedious tasks and business process into automated process. Hey everyone, I welcome you all to this session. In this session, we will see how Python is interfaced with RPA tools like UiPath and Automation Anywhere. Let's look at today's agenda. We shall begin with UiPath and see the different Python activity packages that it offers, followed by which we will look at a hands-on demo in the UiPath Studio. Proceeding further, we will jump into Automation Anywhere and look at the Python script package and look at the demo in Automation Anywhere using Python. But before we begin, make sure you have subscribed to our YouTube channel and clicked on the bell icon so you never miss an update from Simply Learn. So without wasting any further time, let's get started with RPA using Python. UiPath using Python To invoke a Python script in UiPath, we must first create a new sequence. Then we should drag and drop the following activities from the Python activities pack. We need to drag and drop python activity scope, load python activity, invoke python activity and get python object. Then we will use a message box to display the result variable. Let's jump into the UiPath studio and explore each of these activities in detail. The first thing we should do is go to the manage packages and install python activities pack. Go to all packages and search the keyword python and here you will get uipath.python.activities so install this package click on install and get it installed so i have already installed it so i'll close this so let's create a new sequence we'll name this sequence as python demo let's create the new sequence now that we have installed the python activities package search for python keyword and you will get the python activities package so this pack allows you to call Python scripts and methods straight from any workflow. You may also provide input parameters and obtain the output data generated by the activities to the invoked code. So the activities present in Python activities pack are get Python object, invoke Python method, load Python script, Python scope and run Python script. So first we will drag and drop Python scope. So Python scope is a container that sets up a Python environment and provides a scope for Python activities. All Python objects loaded up to that point are erased when the Python scope activity finishes. So we need to provide the path where the Python is installed. So the prerequisite is you need to have Python installed in your system, the latest version of Python. So search for Python where it is installed in your system and go to the file location since this is a shortcut go to the file location and copy this file location and paste the location here in the path paste it in the double quotes okay so now we have pasted the location in the path and target change it to 64 if it is 64 bit and version you can change it to any version which you have installed the python version or you can keep it in the auto so that's not a problem so after dragging and dropping a python scope drag and drop load python script get it inside this do activity so here you can write the code or if you have an existing file you can copy the file path here so i'll write a simple code so write it in the double quotes so i'll define a function say i'll name the function as name and i'll pass an argument same message and pass argument as message and return the argument okay so i have written a simple code i have defined a function and return that argument so we'll create a variable here right click create variable and name it as say script you can name it anything we'll name it as script okay the variable is created so this load python script is the command that converts python code to a python object variable the generated variable can be used to invoke the methods in the code next we need invoke python method 
Invoke Python method allows you to run a specified method directly in a workflow from a Python script. The method containing script must be first loaded into the environment using the load Python script activity. So we have first loaded it with the load Python script activity, then only we can use invoke Python method. Okay. Now we need to provide the input parameters instance and name. Instance is the variable which we created previously in the load python script. We created a variable named script. So select that variable. And name is the function name which we had called. We had called the function name as name right in the previous load script activity. So we'll name the function here. So we had named the function as name and we'll pass the input parameters. So we'll pass the input parameters here. Since we are passing a string, use double quotes and I'll pass the parameter as thanks for watching this video. So I have passed this input parameter. Okay, now in the result, we need to create an another variable. So last time we had created the variable called script. So we'll create uh, this variable as script one okay next we need get python object so drag and drop get python object activity bring it inside so get python object this method returns the dot net type used in the python script so go to the input python object enter the variable which uh, you had created in the invoke python method we had created a variable as script 2 right script 1 so select that variable it is the type argument is of type string select the type string since we are passing a string and in the result create an another variable right click and create variable and we'll name the variable as script2 okay now we need a message box to display the result but before that we have used a load python script and invoke python method get python object and python scope we have used four of this activity and the one activity left is run python script so this command allows you to run python code you can either type the code straight into the activity or give it a file path so we'll not use run python script in this project so after this much is done we will search for a message box so drag and drop a message box inside the python scope so we'll enter the message here the result variable which we had created in the previous activity get python object is script2 so to display the message we'll enter that variable script2 so we need to convert it to string so enter the function dot to string we'll concatenate it with the text say subscribe to our youtube channel so we have concatenated a message so we are all done so we'll save it and click on run and here you go you can see the message thanks for watching this video and subscribe to our youtube channel automation anywhere is one of the leading robotic process automation platforms automation anywhere is built on the world's most commonly used automation and artificial intelligence platform automation anywhere using python in this we will write inline scripts using the command python script and its machine learning capabilities within the automation anywhere. We will first log into the control room and create a new bot. Then we will drag and drop the following actions from the python script package. We will use python script open, execute function and python script close. Then we will add a message box to display the result variable. Let's jump into the automation anywhere control room and explore the python script package and each of its actions in detail. Log into the control room, enter the username and password, click on login. Once you have logged in the control room, go to the automation, click on create new bot. Enter the bot name as python bot, enter the description which is optional and select the folder where you want to store the bot and next click on create and edit. So the bot is successfully created. Go to the search actions and search for python script package. So the python script package contains actions that enable python script functions in a task. On the device where you wish to run the script, the relevant version of python should be installed. 
version 2.x and 3.x of python are supported by automation anywhere the path of the python folder is modified in the path environment variable enter the python on the command prompt to see if python environment variable is set correctly the python environment is set up appropriately if it returns the python version that is installed so these are the list of activities in the python script package close action closes the session and specifies the name execute function executes a function within the python script execute script executes a script within the python script and open action opens a python file so let's use open file now drag and drop the python script open so enter the new python session so enter the session name by default the session name is default so let's keep the session name as it is and there are two options one is to import the existing file if you already have the file on your device you can import it from the control room file or desktop file or variable the other way is to manually enter the code so we'll enter a simple code we'll define a function let us name the function as name and we'll pass an argument as message we'll return the argument message don't forget to give colon in a function so we have entered the simple two line code select the python runtime version if you have python version 2 installed then select 2 if you have python version 3 installed in your device then select 3 now next drag and drop execute function in the python execute function action enter the python session as it is default enter the name of the function to be executed in the previous action we have named the function as name so enter the name of the function and arguments to the function so select the argument to the function so we'll create a new variable we'll create the variable as python variable and it is of the type string so we'll select the type string you can select which are type you want but for now since we are displaying a message which is of the type string so we will select the type string and enter the value which you want to be displayed so i'll enter the value as thanks for watching this video subscribe to our youtube channel so i have entered the default value a message which is of the type string if you want you can enter the description which is optional and click on create and select so we have created a variable this supports only zero or one argument you can't pass more than one argument and assign the output to variable so which is optional but we'll select the variable which we created now python variable and next we need a message box to display the variable so search for a message box drag and drop a message box enter the message box window title when the message box is displayed it contains a title so what title you want the message box to be shown so enter the title here so i'll keep as it is the default title automation anywhere enterprise client enter the message so to enter the message select the variable which we created choose a variable python variable click s insert scroll bar after lines so after how much distance you want the message to be displayed in the message box so select those many number of lines next click on close message box after check this box and it's recommended to at least keep 9 or 10 seconds by default it is showing 5 seconds we'll change it to 10 seconds so the message box is done now when we have opened the python script we also need to close the python script we'll go to the list view and go to the python script package and select close action and in the close action make sure that the session name is same the session name which you provided in the python script open action and the python name close and the python script close action the session name should be same let's save python bot is successfully edited and saved let's click on run So here you can see the message thanks for watching the video and subscribe to our youtube channel so this window will close within 10 seconds so we had provided a 
10 seconds closing window so the window was closed within 10 seconds after the message was shown then the still the bot was running why because after the message box we have provided the python script close action that is why the bot was still running and closing the script so your bot has run successfully if you have any doubts any queries regarding the projects both in ui path or in automation anywhere or regarding python please comment in the comment section and we will try to answer all of your possible questions and do watch our previous tutorials on ui path and automation anywhere for better understanding so with that we have reached the end of this video like and share it if you found it interesting thank you for being here keep learning and stay tuned to simply learn Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.